Thank you so much for watching Eat and Talk. I want to make sure you guys know where to find us. We are currently on YouTube, Apple, and Spotify, and we're completely free for you to listen to. So make sure you check out all of our channels and subscribe to it. Also, if you want to further support us, you can find us at EdenTalkMN.com, where we also have available merch for you guys and links to all of our channels. Thank you so much for watching. Hey everybody, welcome back to Eat and Talk. I'm Yusra and we have our lovely co-host back in the room today. And I'm Gilbert and we're back with another episode of Eat and Talk. So today we got my girl, as you can see, Miss Lavish. Miss Lavish. Looking lavish as hair. ever. I mean, y'all, check it Don't out. Don't be humble. The <laughs> hair, the nails, the skin, everything is popping. Um, and really, she's, yeah. she's just, she's glowing. And we're going to talk about why she's glowing because she got the most amazing brand that will literally naturally like bring the glow out of you that's true yeah. black on crack yes and i think um literally you were like the first um brand that i purchased like to support locally oh yeah uh, ever because yeah. everything else i like i just buy at like the stores and stuff oh. like that um but i think i met miss lavish at it was a pop-up i remember it was a skin tones pop-up yep, right yeah. uptown yeah. right and up i was like okay i was like this looks nice i smell like this i was like this feels nice i was like okay and it did not disappoint girl Period. give her flowers it did not disappoint. give her flowers don't and, be humble yes give her and flowers. since that day the way she has grown y'all like we gonna get into it we gonna share her story but like I'm just proud to see like an amazing, strong black woman, like it's really doing it in the Twin Cities. Her. Yes. Um, but that was a long introduction as let she deserves. I'm going to let her introduce herself. You know, tell the people who you are, you know, what do you do? Why we should know about you? Yeah, don't be okay. humble. Okay, you guys. Well, hello. My name is Miss Lavish and I am the CEO creator of Lavish Shea Butter. Mm -hmm. um, this is my brand. I basically hand make the best real raw African imported shea butter. I actually import my shea butter straight from Ghana. So this is wow. very authentic. And then I actually hand make, place and label all of my products. So whoever shops with me literally gets like raw quality, authentic, just like complete lavish vibes wow that's <laughs> that's like exotic all in one and that also that just sounds like a lot like you do it all girl oh my god it is a <laughs> lot it is a lot yeah that is a fact. yeah so let's bring it back um tell me why did you get into this how did you get started yes 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 so just a little bit about my background. So I have a pre-medical degree. So initially I was wow. going to become a doctor. Okay, you girl. Know, I'm Nigerian. Okay. So anyone that's Nigerian, the Niger if you're just African in general, the Niger way, you we know, know. Yeah. You, we know, know. you got to, you know, African, you get African. me like yep. engineer, doctor, whatever. So where the money is. Basically. Exactly. Where the money is. So initially I was truly studying to become a doctor. I graduated from North Dakota State University, um, a biology degree. And like the summer of 2020 came and that was COVID, oh, right? Wow. And it was so crazy because I was working with actual, um, I, I believe a little bit after COVID, like after it slowed down a little bit, mm -hmm. I had a job. I was working with real dermatologists and I really did love the vibe. I loved the scenery. I loved working with doctors, PAs, all of that. I saw myself doing it, but there was one thing I just didn't see myself doing, which was like, the constant like getting up and going to work every day like mm -hmm. i mean i loved what i was doing but i just didn't really like i had no true passion in that aspect mm -hmm. right so another thing is i would notice that these like doctors these pas would prescribe the harshest of chemical treatments to like anybody mm -hmm. take note guys take note mm -hmm. take yes note. we're talking about putting a band-aid on like anything so in dermatology there's literally a saying that it's going to get worse before it gets better. And I'm like, why is that? Oh, right. Okay. That before, All though. of my customers that shop with me know that it only gets better. Like right. we're literally like when you shop with me, we aim to treat your skin and that's a constant and it stays like that. But like with all these harsh, like we're talking about trentinoin, and we're talking about so many different like acne, because you know acne prone. Let's say it could be acne prone skin. It could be like dark spots. It could be hyperpigmentation, and you go in and let's say it's a chocolate girl. So I remember one day I looked back and it was like this brown skin chocolate girl, and the doctor actually had prescribed the bleaching cream for her um, dark spots. Get out of here! Right. So there's a medical um, term for it, but it was to basically lighten her dark marks and. Um, with that, let's say she did continue to use these dark spots treatments, which would have been like a, a bleacher or a mm -hmm. bleaching cream, right? 
um, she would have had hyperpigmentation. Yeah. Right? So now she has blotches on her skin. Now one part of her face is light, another part of her skin is dark, right? This is wow. her face. Right? So what happens when you see that after you're treating your skin, you're going to come back in. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's a pharmaceutical scam. It's a business. It's a business. It's a business. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful when you go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So dermatologists prescribe treatment. They, they mm -hmm. sell products. They prescribe products. And these products are expensive. They're harsh on our skin. And don't get me wrong, like shout out to, you know, medicine, like mm -hmm. it works for who it works for. But some, for some people, they've been through the same up and down treatments for years and mm -hmm. they haven't seen any progress. Mm -hmm. Right. If I were to show you some of my like DMs, you'd be in shock, which I, mm -hmm. we might need to get into. Yeah. However, um, I remember I was like, dang, like I know of organic treatments that could help. Right. Mm -hmm. And so just a little bit fast forward, or actually I was gonna take it back. Like I was in Nigeria after I graduated, I like went to Nigeria for literally a whole entire month. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah. That's right. Good. That's good. Family thing. Yeah. And literally that's when I really truly discovered real shea butter. And like I'm not gonna lie, yeah. like I'm Nigerian, but I was born here in um, Minneapolis, mm -hmm. raised a little bit in New York, came back to Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And um, the real deal shea butter, I was obsessed with my shea butter. I could you not like, mm -hmm. I bought, it, it was like Lagos Market, we were on the street, I bought the shea butter and I was like, I was just so obsessed with it. And like everyone was DMing me like, um, where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? Like bring me back some. Mm -hmm. And you know what? So I actually came back, right? Mm -hmm. And I sold like the smallest amount of shea butter, like yeah. literally still wrapped in the Nigerian plastic. Yeah. <laughs> for like twenty five dollars. And wow. I was like, damn Nita. Yeah. Like <laughs> no, but like she was obsessed. Like the person that I sold it to was obsessed and super grateful. And I was like, damn, I just came up like twenty five dollars. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Off of like the littlest thing. Yeah. So I was just like, it's worth it. No, People it was are gonna very pop, worth it. You know, by quality, yes. That so. was really that. So mm -hmm. Back to um, dermatology, I'm like, I know of organic, like I started using shea butter, like that was really helping my skin. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I know of organic treatments. Now, doctors, they don't, we live in Minnesota, unless mm -hmm. it's like a black, or I said black, unless it's like a black doctor, they're not going to, you know, prescribe like shea butter mm -hmm. for like eczema or dry skin right. or hyperpigmentation or whatever. So I was like, you know, shea butter. And then, um, so my treatment butter here was actually my treatment butter. It's mm -hmm. my turmeric. Mm -hmm. This is actually known to naturally fade stubborn marks, dark marks, hyperpigmentation, and discoloration, like, quick. We're talking about two to 14 days. Wow. And it was so insane mm -hmm. because, like, I knew it worked. Like, I was using it myself. But when I, like, had first started at the mall, um, I had a customer. She had like hyperpigmentation, like acne scars all over her face. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking to her, I'm trying to convince her like, girl, try this, like mm -hmm. this is what you need, like this is gonna work for you. And mind you, I hadn't had like many customers try my treatment butter at the time, it was still like fairly new. But I was like, try it, trust me, it's gonna work because turmeric, it's an antioxidant, it actually treats bacteria on your skin. Yeah. And you know, she gave in, she um, believed in me. She was like, girl, your skin looks good, which period. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yes girl, believe me. So. I kid you not, let's say a week later, I'm talking to another customer, literally selling her the same product. Mm -hmm. And this lady comes to me and she was like, she like interrupts us. She's like, oh my gosh, guys, you need to buy that. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm literally like stunned at this point. No, yeah. seriously, I'm like stunned. She's like, look at my face that completely like faded my dark spots. Look wow. at my face, my face is glowing. So that was like, I kid you guys not, my first time like seeing like a in-person review yes. of my product. Yes. Um, exactly, yes. I was like in shock. Yeah. But I was like, anybody that knows me knows like I keep a smile on my face. Yes. So I was just like, yeah. <laughs> I was just cheesing, like letting her speak to like yeah. my you know, future customer, my yeah. prospecting customer. So yeah. literally like she ended up buying it but I was like in shock I remember I told my mom I was like mm. mom like can you imagine like I'm the same so I just told you someone yeah. comes up to me and my mom was like really I'm gonna start using it now yeah there's no parents <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mom so said, I'm gonna start using <laughs> right. it now they're not gonna listen yeah. to like, you know, like, African you're Nigerian, are so you know the vibes yeah. like, if you're African period like yeah. you know the vibes like <laughs> so oh my true. god I kid you not like this product has done so well for different people yeah so yeah like well, the story just goes no I'm glad that you really yeah. shared that because that is something in our community just like as a whole in African um, African community um and I could relate to that too because I actually was like born with eczema okay. so Growing up, I had like really bad eczema for a long time until um, I actually like started using like homemade. My aunts and grandmas would make like turmeric mix with cocoa butter or shea butter. And I've never had eczema since. That's what it is. But I also never like 
been able to get a hold of it so now it's like you know we have it here so okay, it's sorry. so convenient you know um that's really beautiful though that's amazing yeah, yeah. were you gonna ask something yeah i was just gonna ask like so what makes your product different from other products that are out there for eczema or for you know african right and so i believe that my product is like completely different just because of its, it's high quality it's a1 yeah. right I imported straight from Ghana, which if you know anything about, you know, the West regions of Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, we could add Cameroon, like they probably have like Shout one out of to the, Cameroon, she said I need <laughs> <laughs> They probably have like the best high quality shea butter. And it's like the shea butters that are in like Walmart, Target today, like local beauty supplies, Chinese stores, all of that, like they don't sell quality. So a lot of people buy humbled. shea butter True. and think that they're buying, you know, oh my God, mm -hmm. I got shea butter. No, you're not buying quality. You're gonna buy something that may crumble on your skin. You, you're gonna buy something that may, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like you don't know what this person put into it. The thing is that my ingredients, like everything is literally on the label. There's no hidden ingredients. Like, oh, it's a secret ingredient. Like, mm -hmm. no, my thing is that it's just raw. It's quality. Like mm -hmm. it's different. It's handmade. It's hand prepared. Mm -hmm. On top of that, it smells and so that, good. That's exactly yeah. what I was about to say too. So like, it smells good. It you really know. does. Yeah. Um, and I really like how you touched base on um, that, like the issue with like the dermatologist um, recommending bleaching to get rid of some of those like discolored spots on our skin. Um, with your experience coming into or really diving into the skincare industry, have you noticed within like us African women colorism and issues of like, um, you know, our natural darker spots and people using bleaching and cream to essentially change how their skin looks? Like? Exactly. So um, just like being where I am, like in the Mall of America, mm -hmm. shout out to Mall of America, you can find yes, my bitch at MOA. America. But I see so many different people, I see so many different things. Like, I wish I could like grab everybody and be like, try this, try this, try this. But you know, yeah. it's like fast speed. Not everyone's going to, you know, give in until it's, you know, popular to give in. Yeah. However, yeah, I believe it, it is a problem sometimes. Like a lot of people suffer with um, hyperpigmentation due to the fact of trying to find like a cream or some sort of um, moisturizer that's going to help tone mm -hmm. slash even but it ends up doing um, more harm than good yeah right so a lot of people like you know sometimes get advice from another friend or another person like try this this worked for me the whole time you tried mm -hmm. on your skin and it's not the same at all that's due to just it not just being natural right, right? Mm -hmm. a lot of like you know aunties um all of that they they like their cream yeah you know what i'm saying a lot of aunties love mm -hmm. their creams and um, most of the time their creams are never ever natural like they like the chemical like aspect of it mm -hmm. you know a lot of people um love that so honestly this product is for who it's for like yeah. um the people who are so used to chemical i pr i'm pretty sure if they were to dive into this product mm -hmm. what they're looking for they would find yeah. within this product mm -hmm. like i always tell people that like like i know what you're trying to gain mm -hmm. like i know what you're looking for but it's in that product. Yeah. Like you wouldn't know because it's natural. You're not used to organic. You're used yeah. to your, you know, Carol's daughter, all mm -hmm. these creams, the popular ones in Africa. Like mm -hmm. you're used to that. But trust me, like let me put you on to something new yeah. real quick. Like, yeah. <laughs> I love that. And so. another question I was gonna ask you: Do you see more men now like taking care of their face routine? Oh my before? gosh! Yes. Oh my god! I get the craziest reviews. Like. Um, people tell me that they, I put them on to like skincare in general, like they just mm -hmm. didn't care. I see a lot, like on your social media, I see a lot of men like first time, you know, shoppers like buying your products yes. and, so, and they're so excited about it. Yes. yes. And it's crazy. I really do feel like um, if you like were to come to me like in the Mall of America, mm -hmm. you kind of hear me sell to you like mm -hmm. there's no way you wouldn't take care of your skin. Like yeah. it's just literally what I'm saying to you. Like let's say I see like a brown skin or not even brown skin, like a dark skin chocolate man and i'm like you're chocolate you're brown skin you're supposed to be glowing like yeah. i'm supposed to be seeing your glow from a distance mm -hmm. like you need to show off your skin so just me you know speaking that wisdom into you know um someone's air it's like nah for real you you literally leave my kiosk feeling good because it's like yeah no for real like i am that like mm -hmm. i should be going or i do have melanin mm -hmm. like i should or i'll tell like a, a teenager who has like 
chapped lips like mm -hmm. are you gonna kiss like <laughs> right. the girls this summer with those I lips love that. like <laughs> the ladies do not like yeah. chapped lips like the ladies <laughs> love soft lips like yeah. you need to make sure that your lips are always soft glowing popping yeah and boom they're on they're like okay <laughs> like so a lot of young boys a lot of um older men just men in general um definitely i feel like i put them on to like why it is important to, to take care of your skin because number one mm -hmm. Skin is our biggest organ, you mm -hmm. know, like that's the biggest thing. That's the first thing that people look at. Like when I look at you, when you look at me, mm -hmm. what am I looking at? Your yep, face, exactly. right? So I always tell people like, shout out to the drip, like mm -hmm. shout out to your outfit. But that is not the first thing that I look at. Right. I'm looking like, at I'm face. literally looking at your face. Mm -hmm. Like, how does your face look? How does your skin look? If it's not your face, then it's your arm. So if you can't even pass like the first step, it's yeah. like what's going on? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and you like and like you represent your brand because like when someone comes to the mall and they see you, they instantly notice your glow right away. Yeah. And like, you know, the nourished lips and all of that. So they know obviously like you are a prodigy of your product. Uh, because I can't stand when people are selling something and they just don't match what they're selling. Like, uh, are, are you using your own products? You know, and that's a lot of like YouTubers and stuff like that online. Right, right. So it's really nice that like, you know, you are essentially representing, but I want to kind of get into Mall of America a little bit. Cause okay. girl, you're being Before too you humble with it. Before you get to Mall of America, it. let's, let's, I know you mentioned that 2020 was when you graduated. Yeah, so I graduated actually 2019. 2019. So yeah. 2020, I know it was COVID. Yes. So at what point did you have any difficulty starting your brand during COVID? So I think the hardest part was just mentally telling myself to start. And I tell this to like a lot of people that want to start business. Like I know like what was like hard for me, right? Which was starting, mm -hmm. right? So I just tell people like just start. So honestly, just the mental, I can't even speak right now, but just the mentality of starting was okay. the hardest, yeah. right? Okay. Um, and just researching like, um, when you want to do something, it's important to research that niche. True. It's important to research, um, you know, that brand. I remember when I first brought it up, shout out to siblings, right? Mm -hmm. My sister was like, girl, what would make your brand different? Like, what's like shea butter, girl? Mm -hmm. Like what? And I like, and we literally, I was like, girl, get out of my room telling that to my sister. But no, seriously, like she made me think like, okay, girl, so you're, you want to start a brand. What's going to make you stand out? Like that was a real like big mm -hmm. sis talk. Like mm -hmm. she wasn't even like talking down. She was really yeah. just putting me on. Like mm -hmm. if you want to start something, you gotta make sure that you're different. Um, so honestly, just the the fact of starting and just having like um, supporters, and even if you don't have supporters, like be your own supporter. Cause yeah. I always tell people like no one knows what's in your own head like mm -hmm. no one's gonna see you unless there's some um prophesier or something you know those um, african prophesiers but no one's gonna see you and just be like oh oh this is what you're thinking this is what you're doing like no like mm -hmm. no one knows what's in my head no one knows how far i want to go with anything no one knows anything so who is anybody to like look down on what you're doing mm -hmm. right because just because you're starting yeah you know what i'm saying so just start so mm -hmm. Honestly, that would just be the difficulty. Oh, the difficulty. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now you can bounce back to the mall. Yes. No, I, that's a now. really good. Thank you for asking that. And then, uh, yeah, I really just want to know, like, how did you, because that's a really big thing. Yeah, shout out to the mall girl. for giving you, yeah, giving like you that's, a chance. That's, that's really that's huge. Big. And and she's in such a great location. So I literally, like, walk right into the mall and I'm walking. I just hear, like, someone saying, hey, and I'm like, oh. Like, she's right there like so it's like automatically people see you like when they're coming in and that's a really busy entrance like that's yes. where lululemon is like that's where urban outfitters is so it's like such a great location so tell me about like your experience how it's been like being in the mall of america like your transition from you know going online to now you know being in the front foreface of your business how's that been and, right. I, and, and i think too i think what you decided to do with the kiosk that was a brilliant like, idea instead of having like a storefront mm -hmm. i think the kiosk is very yeah it's really like yeah, what yeah. made me want to get into a kiosk mm -hmm. room it's crazy like my um brand story is insane like i always yeah. tell people like oh my god this is the craziest story would i ever have to tell it yeah. but um how is it being in the mall honestly i do love it oh my god i remember like people would come up to me like girl you're hustling like mm -hmm. who do you work for <laughs> i work for myself <laughs> i'm like i'm working for myself and it's just like <laughs> Okay, like how did I even get into that, like starting, right? Yeah. So um, it was so crazy. So it was around, like after I like left the dermatologist, like the clinic, um, 
it was crazy because like still COVID and they were up and down with their mm -hmm. scheduling. So I stopped working there. Mm -hmm. um, but I was like, dang, like I need to not work for people. Like I have my own brand. Yeah. Like I literally need to not work. Like I just need to work for myself. So I'm like on like Google, like researching, like how do big brands do it? Like how do other brands do it? And I've always like I've worked everything like but but it when it comes to medical like I'm a I've been a phlebotomist I've been a patient care tech mm -hmm. I've been a um a dermatologist assistant I've even worked at US Bank mm -hmm. right so um literally I'm applying I'm applying to it's still like I need a job so I'm applying to like all of these like healthcare services and it is so weird, I kid you not, for the first time, I just wasn't getting any responses from a lot of people. Mm. And I was just like, oh my God, this is so weird. Like, the money that I have in the my pandemic. account is yeah. you know, finishing, sign. like, quick, mm -hmm. quick, like, mm -hmm. I need a job. So I decided to get a job um, with this business, this, like, marketing business. Mm -hmm. And, like, how they kind of, like, um, it was like a two-part interview, but how they kind of, like, um, like, illustrated the job task in my head, like, I felt like I was gonna be like just running shit for her, like mm -hmm. just being that. But when we got there, it just wasn't that at all. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like, ah, uh -uh, I can't do this. So mm -hmm. I remember um, we were doing a what do they call it orientation, and I'm at the orientation, but I'm the only one talking. Like I'm the only one like asking questions and like mm -hmm. um, you know responding. And I was like, this reminds me of a pop-up. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like this is like a pop-up vibe. And he was like, oh yeah, 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 this actually is kind of like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I do pop-ups all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, so I was working at this job and basically what the job was, was at a kiosk at a Sam's Club. Mm -hmm. oh, I and, one of those jobs. oh my God. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, mm -hmm. I just have a mask on. I was like, oh my God, I can't run into anybody. Yeah, like, yeah. nobody can see me. Like, mind you, this is the person who's always just been in the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my goodness. It's like yeah. no one can see me this is just crazy so I have my mask on all of that and I remember it was my first day and I like instantly just like jumped into like trying to get a customer mm -hmm. and like I guess like I didn't know he was the owner of the company at the time but he comes to me and he goes like I like the way you do that like are you're a hustler like the way you just did that and I I didn't realize I like took like um a customer from another person like mm -hmm. another person I worked there I like mm -hmm. he was acting too shy so I'm mm -hmm. like you know what it don't even seem like you're doing nothing like let me grab this right. person he was like what do you do and I'm like actually I have my own business or whatever so long story short I was doing that for like I believe like three weeks where I was like oh my god I can't do this because a lot of people ignore you and mm -hmm. it's just like it was just really bad I was just like I can't do this and I was like you know what I'm gonna have my own kiosk like and it's a thought you like spoke it to existence. literally wow, it's man. a thought like I told my friend and my friend's like okay um, and I was like, no, 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 seriously, seriously. So I'm like, literally did all that extra stuff. So now I'm in the mall. Um, and it was interesting because um, the location that they had first, um, let's just say when I had called the mall, I just never ever got a call back. I almost mm -hmm. forgot that I called them. <laughs> wow. And they gave me a quote and everything. And at first it's like, dang, but. Oh, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> like, I thought it was free, like, but you know uh, I'll call yeah. you guys back. Right. So they basically were, they just told me like they're going to hit me back up. So mm -hmm. I'm chilling. I forgot what I was doing. And I got a call back like, oh, are you still interested? I'm like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. So they gave me a spot. But at this point, oh my God, I had job hop. I was literally job hopping. So at this mm -hmm. point, I was like a phlebotomist. Mm -hmm. Um, Cause I had left that job, right? But I like gained so much. Like That's they taught learned, so yeah. much at that marketing job. Like which I guess was the initial plan was to you know learn something. Like um, hashtag how do the big brands do it? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they taught me so much, but they didn't even realize. Like shout out to you know the men working Whatever that company job. That was. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. did not realize because I'm just, like I'm a black girl. Mm -hmm. I'm like the small black girl minority. They don't expect anyone. Yeah anything to actually dig yeah. in that brain the whole time no one knows what my resume is yeah bro. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so um yeah they gave me this location it was like by the north side of or east side of the mall oh, by yeah. like the train and mm -hmm. i like went there my mom was like go and like see the spot that they gave you mm -hmm. like see if it's a good spot before you you know say yeah. yes mm -hmm. which shout out to moms because literally i like walked the whole mall and i'm like 
Steve, so Steve Madden used to be like right in front of me, mm -hmm. and I like stood there and I was like, I want to be right here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I emailed, I'm like, da -da -da, blah 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 blah. Next thing you know, the location's right there. We opened up first day, mm -hmm. it's lit, like yeah. it was so lit, it mm -hmm. was just so crazy. Like, I really wanted to um, message the guys that I used to work with, like mm -hmm. at the marketing um kiosk, like, oh my god, look, I got my own kiosk, but I just never really got mm -hmm. um, to it. They'll probably hear about me. They'll hear about you. They'll hear about you. Yeah, they'll hear about you. They'll hear about but you. honestly, it's interesting because you have to love what you do. Like, mm -hmm. anyone could hear this story, like, oh my god, like, mm -hmm. let me go get a kiosk, but then, you know, like, you're down bad, mm -hmm. like, in the first month because you don't like what you're doing, you don't love what you're doing. Yeah. So, you just have to like have that hustle in you and like really love what you're doing. Like for me, I love really talking about my product. I love like treating people with it when it comes to their skin, their glow, their beauty. Like a lot of people don't really see their glow in them because they use all these like, you know, um, lotions that are on Walmart shelves. Yeah. Like Jergens and Vaseline. Oh, and it's I like, hate that for you. Exactly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's for real. And it's like, I know for a fact, like Jergens literally put that on my skin dry it up mm -hmm. like this like i can yeah. never put it on my face mm -hmm. vaseline um it's way too thick mm -hmm. it doesn't shout out vaseline i was i was about it to say shout out to vaseline, <laughs> shout out vaseline got... <laughs> man but it doesn't truly absorb the whole time you're walking around looking greasy yeah, right yeah. as a kid growing up in yeah, yeah. You know what what vaseline, just like pour it in that. your face yeah no no um vaseline's the og but there's different so i'll have someone tell me like oh i use vaseline baby girl it's okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i'm like okay but vaseline will have you out here oily it doesn't absorb you're still greasy you're yeah. putting oil all over your because it sits on the wheel. surface so, and it's really not making any changes to your skin At all. yeah I, no it's mm -hmm. that's true it's and when the jelly. sun hits it it's even even worse for you like if you step out and vaseline it into the hot sun it's so bad for your skin very bad yeah yeah that's i i, I can touch base on that too that's actually true because even as a man too we don't we don't think that you know your face is different from your body as mm -hmm. a man you just use one lotion for your face right. and your whole body but then you know mm -hmm. but then now i see a lot of men we have like face oil and then we have our body oil too mm -hmm. so that's good yeah. there's a difference for sure mm -hmm. so so back to back to COVID. you know shout out to you for you know staying with the COVID and all that stuff i know when you were inside the mall, that was still COVID time, correct? No, it wasn't. So I was actually, um, so Lavish Shea Butter existed in MOA um, March of 2022. Oh, wow. So what, your one year anniversary okay. was yes. recent. Yes. Okay, congratulations. Congratulations to thank that. You, thank you, thank you. Yes. So yes, March of 2022, March 15th, that was our grand opening. Um, oh my God, it was crazy. I used to literally like, First day I had the heels on. Like, yeah. oh yeah, this is the heels on. Yeah. I <laughs> but not that like, not like so party you. heels. I love that. Though. Yeah, not but as just a like boss this. woman, I'm not for my heels. No yeah. device. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. right after that day. <laughs> Never again. Oh no, after that I was like, oh yeah, yeah. no. Like, I'm not going to do that again. Yeah. But um, there's a lot of things I changed actually while being at the mall. Like, I noticed, like, with the approach, like, I would never really come to the mall with uh, like a complete like makeup down face. Like I don't, I try not to put on makeup like yeah. a lot when I'm in the mall. Cause I remember when I first started, I actually would put on makeup and I had someone tell me like, how are you selling skincare, but right, um, you have makeup on? Mm -hmm. And I remember I was like offended, like, girl, are you gonna buy this shit right. or not? Like, <laughs> like, don't come over here to tell me like what I'm doing. Like, yeah. and she didn't even buy nothing. So I'm like, how you gonna just like give your unsolicited opinion here? But no, she was being for real though. Yeah, yeah, she was being facts. Like, so I tell a lot of my customers, like even me when I got ready today, like um, my makeup, whatever. I have no foundation on. Like, mm -hmm. it's so crazy. Mm -hmm. wow. um, I tell a lot of my customers, like, this is more of a getting ready look. But, like, yeah. on a work day for real, like, literally, I probably filled in my eyebrows, um, lip gloss, brightened under my eyebrow, um, my eyes under a little bit. Can't speak. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Even though I really don't have to. But I tell all of my customers, like, I don't wear um, foundation. I'll literally go as far to touch my face yeah. to let them know. Mm -hmm. So it's like, um, yeah, and they're like, oh, yeah, you have really good skin. Which, where it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I use this every morning on my face. Mm -hmm. You could get this skin too. Right. That's what I was gonna ask too. So with that product, you can still put the makeup, you can still add the makeup. Exactly. Okay. And um, the craziest reviews, I get people that's like, oh my God, my makeup just glows different Yeah, because it's the base. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. Yeah, because we usually put moisturizer, but if you put this product underneath, like you'll really glow, so. Right, and then natural sunscreen. Yep. So 
you're still being protected from the sun because shea butter is a natural sunscreen. So and please, me. like, can you emphasize how we as black people still need to use sunscreen? Oh, no. Very, very important. <laughs> because, people don't know about the UV radiation. That's yeah. not good. Like, mm -hmm. like, even if you feel like, oh, like, who cares if I'm going to get darker? Do care about getting early wrinkles. Right. And right. cancer. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. And cancer. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, yes, the sun will have you looking old fast yeah. and quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, besides, well, beside the other person checking you about, you know, wearing makeup and selling skincare products, what's like a customer? What's like the most craziest customer you've, you've ever dealt with? Oh, let me see. I haven't. Oh my God, just probably customers hitting on me 24 7. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. They don't know how to like. I think it's a customer that's willing to hit on me but not support the brand mm. and tell me something like, oh, I could support something else. And it's like, <laughs> if you can't tap in the brain right now don't at this very moment, time, talk why would I have future hope for right. you? Like, boy? Yeah. So maybe that. Like, someone telling me. So shout out to everyone who's ever supported me. Always love. Definitely appreciate it. But, like, shout out to those people that's like, oh, I could support something else. It's like, boy, please. Right. Bye. Yeah. Let me, you know, go find another customer that's yeah. really serious about their skin yeah. or about supporting. Yeah. No, okay. You know what I'm saying? I love that. Um, And then... You've had some really cool people stop by, though. You've met some celebrities. I have, yeah. actually. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to think of them now, actually, because, oh, my God, my brain just goes up and down, up and down. Yeah. But I've had um, the comedian, what is his name? Um, Mark? Probably. Honestly, you guys. Recently or? It wasn't I that yeah, recently. I it, um, Martin oh, Lawrence. I've had Jordan Woods. Shout, well, shout out. Yes. 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 Oh, my yes. gosh. Yes, 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 yes. And it was so crazy. Please, Jordan, tell your husband to play a good game this weekend, please. If you're watching this, we need we need to win. And you want to know what's insane? I actually used to work for the Timberwolves as well. Oh, wow. And I don't know if this is like a You've breach all, of contract. <laughs> but I was like um, a patient care tech for them as well. No okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So it was during COVID time. So um, actually in 2020, actually, I was working for them. Um, so it's crazy. So it was so crazy. So working for them, like you just couldn't do anything crazy. Like yeah. that's true. you couldn't talk about your business. Yeah. You couldn't give out a business card. Like mm -hmm. that's like literally breaching oh, just contract. contract, and that's mm -hmm. a way to get your ass fired or even sued. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So oh my, God, I remember I'll just do the craziest things. Like I, at the time, I had like a clear um, phone case, and mm -hmm. I would put my um, oh, my smart. business card. That's so sweet. Set my phone down like right there while working. I'm just like, really <laughs> clever. I did Very that. clever. And yeah. I would talk about my brand to like some of the coaches. And oh my God, I had like such a hater. Like I ended up like something went down where um, one of the bosses like wanted to introduce like the workers to like the coach. Mm -hmm. And he comes up to me he's like Anita I already know Anita like we're talking about the current coach that plays for the Timberwolves yeah. or that coaches the Timberwolves today yeah. and he was the new coach at the time mm -hmm. and he was like Anita I already know Anita and I was like yeah I already talked to him mm -hmm. like I was just that person like I'd always just like You're everyone else was just doing person. their thing and I was always telling them, like man I got a brand like mm -hmm. I see myself like Loki probably hanging out with them like at a, like a restaurant later in life like this was, I'm this here for a good time right. right like I'm just chilling so I remember I would tell um, um, Carl Anthony Towns, like, it was crazy because one day, like, Jordan had walked in, and he was like, tell her about your business, and I was like, I looked around at, like, the um, boss at the time, I was like, nah, I can't, mm -hmm. it's just like, I can't, like, I'm about to just get it fired, like, get fired right there, it's just, I couldn't, mm -hmm. so, um, long story short, I, like, this was really insane, like, people, like, I tell people this story all the time, but there was this day at the mall, I believe it was still in, like, March, um, I like heard that Jordan Woods was in the mall or whatever. Like Carl and Jordan was in the mall, and there's like one of my friends that works at Nordstrom, and you know they're always at Nordstrom. Mm -hmm. So I was like, next time when they come, you need to text me and tell me I'm gonna run over there with the product in a business card. Right. Like mm -hmm. you need to tell me. And then I was, and that was like the day before. And then I'm talking to my friend. I'm like, I already know. Like one day Jordan's about to be walking in these mm -hmm. like you know mall halls or whatever, and I'm gonna grab her. Like she's gonna be a lavish customer. Mm -hmm. oh, and I kid you guys not, the next day wow. that happened. Cause girl, now, everything you speak to just comes yeah. to existence. I need you to wish me. I'm getting rich. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. It was so crazy. Like you guys, I think okay, that day was actually really crazy due to the fact that I was like in shock. So I was kind of like shaky. Cause it was not because I was like fan girled out. Because mind you, I've already seen this girl. But just it was the fact you that actually, like literally the it. day before, like literally, yeah. I could you guys not yesterday. So I'm like, and I even told her, I was mm -hmm. like. 
oh my god i manifested this and yeah. i'm like such a like my voice is very overpowering and i guess it's a cali thing because i did have like a cali model and she was very chill mm -hmm. but her voice oh my god is so chill i yeah. thought i was like screaming at her or like <laughs> overpowering her voice like i was like i need to chill yeah. she was like oh yeah I my, my guy has to move on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that happens sometimes. And I'm like, she's so chill. And I'm like talking like this. You got the Midwest and New York in you. That's <laughs> no, why. No, seriously. I'm like, man. Yeah. But told her about my product. She bought one. And I feel like it could have went better. But I was still just in shock. So mm -hmm. um, if I could redo that moment, I probably would. But she did support the business. She knew about the brand. Um, but I didn't shoot my shot, so everybody shoot your shot. Like I could have asked her to like like repost, yeah. but I really didn't. Like I just like assumed like she was just gonna be so in love with it mm -hmm. that she was gonna repost okay. herself. But, it's coming. Um, you never know. You know, you never know. You but never know. It's gonna come. Who knows? Ain't no free promo out here. I guess yeah. in the yeah. celebrity world. <laughs> yeah. Like you feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm like help a sister out. Like right. I'm trying to come up like you, sis. Yeah. But I didn't even want to like do all of that. So it's I was okay. like, let me keep it cute. Let me yeah. keep it classy. Yeah. So now, so now that well moving going back to the team of now that you don't work with them have you tried to reach out to them to you know at least introduce your product to the team yeah the but team? um barely but kind of um i feel like everything like has um its own time and yeah. there's certain people that um you could meet that would put you in position mm -hmm. but honestly i just keep it cute i keep it patient i've seen some um players in the um, mall area i've mm -hmm. actually ran into jordan again and i like asked her like oh my god girl did you love your product mm -hmm. and she smiled she's like yeah but you know that's celebrity lifestyle they're in a rush they're doing right. their thing so you gotta really like if you come into contact with like someone who's a celebrity or someone who has influence give like them tips, you know, give them tips you know not even that like you gotta like be quick yeah. because it's almost like you they're do. on a time schedule and they almost don't they have are. time yeah. like and it's like literally that's how it is so if you're mm -hmm. like um producing anything or shouting out something or saying anything like speak fast mm -hmm. and not only speak fast like speak sensibly yeah. like what will even make me want to stop to give you you know yeah. time so when i met her i was like it was so crazy i could you not so i was like in the store like opposite and like I was like done talking to that guy. Like I was being lazy that day. Like I was mm -hmm. supposed to be set up my shelves, so my shelves were barely even set up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I was like, it was like a slow morning. So I like walk out and I look over and I see the side of her face, but she's looking into like DSW. Mm -hmm. I'm right across from DSW and I'm like looking at this girl's like side profile. And I'm like, why does this girl look familiar? Mm -hmm. Like I've like seen her before. So she finally turns her head. And mind you, she's chill. She's like looking as regular, as normal as possible. Still pretty. Um, so I was like, Jordan? Mm -hmm. And she like looks over. And I'm like, oh my God, come here, come check out my brand. And she does, you mm -hmm. know? So I guess that was a form of me shooting my shot. That was, getting, girl. Yeah, that that like, really like, was. Those are the real fans, uh, the ones that are usually like nonchalant. Right. Like, yeah. Low key. That's why she probably gave you a chance because she was like, okay, now nah, she's not. Well, yeah. Right. She was by herself. I mean, yeah, she was by her shot. So yeah. that's, yeah, that's amazing. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. So that was really it. I was just like, come check out my brand, girl. Like, I was talking to her like she was my homegirl. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> While, like, in shock, like, trying to be normal. Mm -hmm. You're such a good like saleswoman. Like just hearing like all of your experiences and stories. Like with every role that you've ever like had, you've always been able to conquer it, girl. That's amazing. And sneaking that her part. brand too. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, like that's why I'm saying she's such a saleswoman. Because like just even the whole like, oh, I can't breach my contract, but I found a way. Got a clear case. Put my business card out here. You know, like that. Like. Uh, only a real like boss can think about that yeah. you know so like it's, it's it's in you literally it's in you and it's crazy because like my dad is a business person which it's so crazy growing up i always said like i was going to be a doctor i remember i told my mom like mom you probably Super brainwashed yeah, me yeah, yeah. like i probably always um it's just crazy yeah. i don't know like mm -hmm. i fit so well into this um persona or this person that I actually am truly that it's like wow like this must have always truly been my mm -hmm. calling mm -hmm. right because just even like being in the medical field like I would have people who I actually am more educated and like they didn't see my resume try to you know um what is, it, what is it called when they're looking at you while you're working and you know mm -hmm. just like trying to tell you what to do not even trying mm -hmm. to tell you what to do but almost like you're minding your business but they're, they're trying to micromanage and, micromanage that's yeah. the part and mm -hmm. it's just like girl please yeah like, 
So it's just a lot of that. I always told myself, like, if I was going to be in the medical field, like, I just can't be in Minnesota. Mm Because I was always, like, I went to an all, a PYT. I went to an all-white college. Mm -hmm. But I was always, like, I don't mind being the only, like, black woman in a room Mm -hmm. or... I really don't. So, mm-hmm. like, working at all of these, like, uh, medical field jobs, I usually was, like, the only black person yeah. in the room. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But it was so weird because while working with the Tims, like, it was, like, black, other black um, workers. Mm-hmm. I was like, this is really strange. Mm-hmm. Like, super cool at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, So, that was, like, so just the micromanaging, I was like, Tch. yeah, like, you're going to wake up and be like, oh, my God, mm-hmm. Sa- Sally's going to be on my ass again. Right. Like, <laughs> damn, I can't, I can't even breathe without, you know, yeah. like, I was just like, you literally can't breathe. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm like, I need to breathe and yeah. I need to breathe doing it lavishly. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and so and then now you got to like your website and everything out. And I was just like saying, like, you got some gorgeous models. Yes, like, wow. Models. Like, and how did you decide to like select your models? Like, is it because I could notice they're all chocolate, like they represent people that look like yes. us. So was that something that felt like you was going to be important for you? It was um, just essence and a melanin, you know, mm. um, you walk around different stores in the mall. Well, actually, we're being um, more gentrified where you're actually seeing more black That's models. Yeah. But like true. prior, I could you not, last year I'm walking in the mall, mm-hmm. you don't even see mm-hmm. black models. On it. Or if you do, they it's the, know. you know, the typical light skin, curly hair skin. chick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, so it was so weird. People would walk by my kiosk and almost be like, you know, shook. Like, wait, huh? Mm-hmm. So honestly, um, just the essence of beauty that I mm-hmm. see in melanin and skin. Um, when shea butter touches melanin, the glow is different. Mm. But my brand is for everybody. For my everybody. brand, is, my brand's gonna make any skin type glow. That's like, good. That is anybody, for white, That's good. Asian, That's Mexican, good. like, and I've had all those types of customers. Mm-hmm. So, um, but no, oh my God, I remember one of my friends. Um, put it on his skin and literally because he's chocolate mm-hmm. and I'm like oh my god look at mm-hmm. your skin like it literally didn't even do that to my skin mm-hmm. I'm the you know the yeah. person who founded this product yeah but so just that just having that in my head like oh my gosh like this product like glows mm-hmm. on chocolate like no one's business so mm-hmm. honestly and just being a black woman in business or just a black owner like um, you obviously need to re- represent your brand yeah. and like with other people that mm-hmm. or melanin, true. you know, just to mm-hmm. to show to showcase us beauty and melanin. Yeah, you know what I'm saying to showcase like just something different. Mm-hmm. That and was really what that. Back was. to you know, back to the website and all that stuff. So how are you utilizing like social media and all that stuff to grow your business? And right. Your so I definitely do utilize like Facebook and Instagram ads. I've kind of chilled on that. Oh my God, there's so much money that goes into like. Yeah, yeah. right. And, and yeah. I believe, like, still, oh my God, I'm so busy, so I don't even get to do this. But being able to just really lock in and understand your audience, your your um, niche, like the people that you're reaching out to, like, that is very important for you know locking down sales when running ads through Facebook. Um, it's it's complicated. It's not as easy as it seems. Like, there, I've talked to so many different ads managers i've worked with them it's mm-hmm. money mm-hmm. it's like okay girl i'm gonna do this for you but okay the the price tag on them is like <laughs> one five i've had another price tag two five because mm-hmm. the point is you want to but you gotta understand which someone i went into someone yesterday his name's actually abdul mm-hmm. and he said um no one's going to take time and like care about your business like you like that's you know? very true you know what i'm saying like shout out to these people that i believe have knowledge in facebook ads and stuff but they're not going to care. They have other things. Like, yeah. yeah, they're going to probably do a little things to make it seem like, okay, you did, mm-hmm. you know, you got what you're looking for. But no, mm-hmm. which um, that actually resonated with me. And that was actually like just last week. But yeah, just like um, social media, posting all of my photos. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm getting into reels now. Actually, I've been into reels, but like sh- um, showcasing how I prepared the product, how I label it. Like, a lot of my customers love to see that. Yeah. Just creating content. Yeah. I believe like social media is a very huge tool, which um, because I get busy so many like like so much that I can't really utilize it how I want to. Um, but oh my gosh, if you have the time to utilize your social media and create content with your products, like that's um, ultimately like your like yeah. success. Yeah, really like. If you're able to, to be consistent, because consistency is key. I've seen people grow from like 2K followers to six, 66,000 followers in like a matter of like a month. And it's like, okay, like 
yeah, it's going to be crazy posting your new mm-hmm. business or posting whatever mm-hmm. to the general public or the people that follow you. But who cares? Mm-hmm. Like, for real, for like, who cares? Like, yeah, it's going to be, you're going to feel like it's embarrassing, but I kid you not, you post it more than enough. Mm-hmm. They're going to catch on. Your views is going to start. Mm-hmm. Um, people are going to talk. People are going to do their things. But who cares what another, I, to, for me, it's always been like, who cares what another person has to say? Mm-hmm. Like, everyone's always going to talk. Like, who cares? Mm-hmm. Like, if that's not like putting money in my pocket or paying my bills, like, I can really care. Like, yeah. You know, give an F about what another person has to say. Mm-hmm. So just really be confident. Confidence is key. Do you post on social media? Like, don't be scared. Um, just don't overthink. Just be consistent. Consistency is key when it comes to like, Right. anything like mm-hmm. if you're trying to be successful for real absolutely um mm, a lot of tips yeah i, I really that. am yeah, yeah write, of, write this down for real. Bro. Again, a lot of tips i really am bro. so is this your favorite product so this is actually one of my favorite products i okay. should say mm-hmm. um i actually use this one every single day on my face like every morning when i um come about the shower or let's say i'm taking a nighttime shower as well mm-hmm. i would put this on my face mm-hmm. so this is what i call my treatment butter now This is intended to, as I said, fade like stubborn marks, dark spots, hyperpigmentation. Mm -hmm. Lots of ladies um, get darker underarms, perhaps like a darker bikini area due to shaving or waxing, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Maybe if you're thicker, you probably have like darker inner thighs, you know? Mm -hmm. So this is a product that's intended to brighten, bring without bleach, right? Mm -hmm. So it's intended to brighten. What I mean by brighten, I mean, just bring that glow, bring a brighter look. Like if your armpits are dark, like you obviously want them to be brighter. You want to bring it back to your natural skin tone. So Mm -hmm. this is what this is intended to do. So this is intended to just fade any sort of stubborn mark, even if it's like an acne scar, Mm -hmm. a burn spot, just to completely give you that even skin tone. Mm -hmm. So yes, I really do love this. I use it every single morning. It's for your whole body? So my customers do put this on their whole body, but I personally just use it on my face and then some like stubborn spots that I would like to treat up. But yes, this could be face and body. Okay. Yes. I love that. Okay, so what is like your favorite? Like, this is one of your favorites. Oh my God, what I have is so like... many favorites, I can't even choose. It's so crazy because people really ask me, like, oh my yeah. God, what's your favorite? I'm like, yeah. honestly, it's up to oh, you. So yeah. honestly, I'm going to have you guys like tell me the vibes. We're going to go over it. So this okay. is unscented. Okay. And I actually made this unscented on purpose. So mm-hmm. we're going to smell this last. Okay. Um, but then these ones um right here so this was my og y'all i started with this this was my first product ever yeah um how i was selling my first product ever you guys i was actually selling it through um like snapchat and instagram through the dms Mm -hmm. like um i was selling my product and shout out to everyone who supported me like it was so crazy i did not expect it yeah like i remember my first time i started selling this i think i made like a thousand dollars in about like two weeks oh, or a week, I can't still, remember. Still good. Mm-hmm. But I was just like, dang, mm-hmm. like, I just didn't expect the support for real. Like, mm-hmm. shout out to that. But um, at first, I had first made this unscented, like, it had no scent. But mm-hmm. I would have a lot of people tell me, like, oh my God, it's such a great product. But like, I don't like the smell, really. It smells too earthy, mm-hmm. which I would tell them, like, yeah, you have the best raw, authentic Natural. shea butter. It's yeah. organic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I would tell people, like, it's organic. Like, you better use that shea butter if you want your skin to be healthy and hydrated. <laughs> mm-hmm. But no, still, I was like, I had to dive into that. So I want you to smell that. Okay. That's the OG. It smells so good. Right? What I feel like I'm on an island, like a pina colada, mm-hmm. like... Smelly. So tropical. Uh, pina colada. Yeah. Yeah. So that is like a pina colada and pineapple. Mm-hmm. Um, how I sense my oils, I use essential oil, so it's still very organic. Mm-hmm. Pineapple. Yeah, yeah, pineapple smells right. so good. Uh, and this is for body and face? Or, yeah. So all this, your products, are they just for... Oh, no. So and this is, you can use this on your body face hair lips feet wow so we're talking about the hair too thing. hair okay, shea butter real. for hair it actually grows your hair okay. it nourishes it hydrates even your beard i'm learning a lot okay yes. oh my God. wow <laughs> even your beard so this is a complete full body moisturizer mm-hmm. okay so that's my yellow butter this is actually if you guys didn't know this is the original color of shea butter mm-hmm. um straight up now this this is the more purified version Mm -hmm. um i actually sometimes 
It depends. So some of my customers tell me that if you have to allow the products to fully absorb, it takes about a minute or so, which mm -hmm. I guess you guys could try some, right? Mm -hmm. To like, um, no. Yeah. But um, as long as it absorbs and you're good, some customers who wear white all the time, like, you know, their white tees or whatever, mm -hmm. they're in a rush. Like, they're mm -hmm. putting on that butter and they're... Mm -hmm. shh, shh. And I have to tell my customers, like, take it easy. If you're going to mm -hmm. be in a rush, maybe you want this one, mm -hmm. right? So this one, you don't have to worry about, like, staining or transferring, but... Mm -hmm. Just for the record, this doesn't stain or transfer as long as you allow it to absorb, which mm -hmm. it takes about a minute or so, mm -hmm. right? Because it's shea butter. Mm -hmm. But yes, this is my purified butter, my more light butter, I love to call it. This smells like shea butter. It still smells really good, right? though. I like the smell of it. Yeah. But do you, like, feel any hints of any other scents at all? Coconut. Yeah. Yeah. I this smell coconut. Okay. <laughs> I smell that, yeah. Yeah, the coconut right so i love the yellow one it gives mm -hmm. you more of a glow for real. like the yellow one really does give your skin a glow it's the og mm -hmm. and then the white butter it does the same um it does the same but just more subtle yeah right i should say more subtle mm -hmm. and that that looks a little bit more of like a thicker consistency this one looks yes. more uh whipped that does look more whipped I yeah, it almost that. feels like this is heavier too yes. this is lighter yeah, so this, um, but it still melts. Definitely try some if you want to try some. Okay. Um, it still melts into your skin. Let's see how. Oh, I love how it feels. All right. So nice. Okay. Oh, instantly, it's so soft. <laughs> Look, it's glowing. Point proven. Point proven. That's Point it. Proven. Yeah, try it. Yeah, I'll try it. Wow. I'm so thick. I love it. It feels thick, but as soon as it like touches your skin, it like melts. Yeah. Look at that. And I still like the way it smells. Yeah. Yes, it smells yeah. really good. Smells Try so this good. one too. I, I want to know your opinions on this one because this okay. one is a bit more whipped. Exactly that. Mm -hmm. You're right about the observing. Like it it absorbs like, right away. Like exactly. Yeah. And as I said, yup, face, body, lips, feet, beard. And I always tell my customers, like, a little bit goes a long way. Like, you don't need, like, a lot at a time. This one's really good. I love the smell of it, too. And this one, yeah, you do have to, like, you're right. It takes yeah. maybe a little bit more to absorb. Yeah. But it still feels so soft and nice. I love it. Period. No, you're absolutely right. If I'm, like, in a rush, I would definitely stick to, like, the white um, butter. Um, but, like, this is, I would love to put this on, like, after a nice shower and I'm about to just, like, chill back and right. I need my skin to really, like, glow. Right. Um, no, they both essentially do the trick. I love it. And shea butter has, like, healing quantity. So, like, we're talking mm -hmm. about, so I do also have my CBD butter. Let me close mm -hmm. this up. And have you guys smelled this one? Let me see. Mm -hmm. oh, it I looks so one, yeah. bright and pretty. Mm. <laughs> oh, this smells also tropical, but like more floral. Right. Yeah. Almost like a blossom. Uh, this smells so good. I'll get some more. Right. So that's my CBD butter. So um, shea butter has a lot of different healing quantities mm -hmm. slash qualities. Um, we're talking about, let's say, I've literally, you guys, I had a customer tell me that um, their ankle was swollen and they put my shea butter on it and instantly it like, yeah. it like healed it. And I would hear things like this and think like, girl, what? Mm -hmm. But no, seriously, that's literally that. So um, this one is CBD infused. So that's intended to treat like sore muscles, bones, tendons, any aches, right? Um, I do have a lot of customers that love my CBD butter. Mm, girl, that could get rid of headaches. I smell mm. that and I'm just like, oh, yes. so good. Uh, I love that. No, thank you so much for like sharing all of this, like bringing your products. Like um, what I really enjoyed about this interview was like you really like let us know of um the ups and downs, the things that oh, you yeah. went through, you know, yeah. like you didn't just get here just to get here. Like you worked hard for it, that you know? Part. So I think that's really inspiring, especially for like a lot of young black women. Cause like nowadays, like we're all starting to realize like it sucks working for somebody else. Like it's cool. Yes. Like get your degree, go to school. We all want to make our families happy, but also it's really important to like find yourself in like your passion. What do you want to do Exactly. and to go for it? So I think that was really important that you said that. Um, we always love to kind of end with like, what is one piece of like essential advice that you have for anyone watching this? 
Honestly, I feel like I said it prior. You, you did. You said a lot of you advice. Said you said a lot, said a lot of stuff, for you sure. Said a lot. Right? Take notes. Yeah. But really, just do it and have confidence when doing it. Like, no one knows what it is. Like, find like what you like are attracted to. Find what makes you happy. Like, mm -hmm. is it just playing video games? Right? Mm -hmm. Find like a way that you could make money playing video games. Mm -hmm. Right? Is it like shopping? You love shopping all the time. Okay. Become like, you know, a stylist. Mm -hmm. Become some sort of like be creative. Like there's so like what did I Spice say? There's so many ways to get paid. Mm -hmm. Like, nah, for real. Like yeah. if you really like it's so crazy. I know so many different business people and they tell me what they do like for their money and like how their business men and I'm like, dang, mm -hmm. like, it's just so many different ways. So just find what you love and do it. Like, th just find your niche, find what you love and just don't be bored doing it. Cause then you will never be bored. You're, you'll always wake up with the purpose. You'll always wake up loving what you do, yeah. um, you know? But shout out to my doctors though. All love for the doctors, for the young black um, women and men. Um, please go out and become a doctor as well. Mm -hmm. Like. We, we need definitely that. need more black yeah. doctors. Um, you know what I'm saying? This was just more of my area. Mm -hmm. People always ask me, like, do you plan on still going to medical school? Which mm -hmm. we never know. Like, mm -hmm. the sky is literally the limit. Yeah, like, you there can always is go back no to school. ceiling. Yeah, you yeah. you know, back. that part, but yeah, yeah. who knows? I don't know if I got time for all of that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you really <laughs> are, like, you know, you if you still are a doctor to us. You're yeah, over here you taking care, saving yeah. lives, yes. saving yeah. skin, um, especially for our community. I think it's so hard for, like, our people to find something that fits and is healthy for us, you know? And so we definitely, yes, we need, we need more doctors, definitely, but we also need more Miss Lavishes in our lives, yes, <laughs> you know? Yes, so, yes, yes. Um, so once again, where can we find you? Where in the Mall of America are you located? What's your website? Um, nice. We'll link to Instagram and all your social media handles. Um, but yeah, where can we find you? Beautiful, well, you could literally actually find me on a day to day at, at the Mall, mall of America. America. Right, I'm at the Mall, West Side, West Entry, Name um, all the stores around right? me. Right. Um, the stores around me, we have DSW opposite yeah. for me. We have Urban Outfitters right around the corner. We have um, Johnson & Murphy's right outside. We even have Chanel. Chanel's coming Chanel in is coming. 2023 yes. summer. So I'm right outside of Chanel, man. I'm yeah. right That's all you had to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right outside of Chanel. Chanel. Yes. Uh, well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you so much for coming. And, you know, we always love to, you know, touch back with people in the future. I already know you're going to be up there, like, big and better. And uh, it's going to be really exciting to watch your journey glow. So definitely make sure you guys follow her. Check out her website. Yes. Visit her and, in person. Yeah, visit her in person. And make sure you guys don't miss out on her amazing lavish shea butters. Yes. Um, oh, we didn't even talk about the lip scrub. I love her lip scrub, Oh, my gosh, yes. I wish I brought it with me. Yes. It's, like, right there. So my lip scrub has four organic ingredients. And I have the turmeric lip scrub that has five organic ingredients which mm -hmm. is shea butter brown sugar um coconut oil and almond oil and then for the turmeric one the fifth ingredient would be the turmeric so yeah that's for yeah. some of my customers who like smoke or even if you don't smoke and you want like brighter like pink lips that's mm -hmm. going to tone your lips completely give them a, more of a brighter appearance or if your lips are just crusty you notice we're still in our um dry skin season yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. we're still in our dry skin season so um, our lips crack, our lips get dry, um, you want to add more hydration to your lips, or it's so multi-purpose because, you know, summer's right around the corner, we're going to start getting bit by mosquitoes. Mm. Um, instead of, like, scratching and tearing your skin off, you could exfoliate with the sh um, yeah. scrub. Yeah. Oh, right. wow. Okay. Yeah. It is nice very tip, exfoliating. Yeah, she's giving yeah. out tips. Right? So, at this point, you're exfoliating because you're still itching with the um the grains of the brown sugar but you're not tearing your skin with the oh. aggressive itching and i only say that because oh my god mosquitoes love me so <laughs> that's why i even say that i'm like you know what? you probably smell good all the time <laughs> yeah, I know, right? like I'm mosquitoes like, are attracted to you that delicious that i don't know i'm just like uh -uh. yeah i can't be out here with the scars man. <laughs> so that's a good tip or if you have like a pimple instead of like or let's say it's either at its like time to get popped mm -hmm. or it's just still very fresh instead of popping it because that's actually going to add more tension to the pimple or the blemish itself you could exfoliate um do that a couple of times go to bed wake up notice that it's significantly smaller mm -hmm. notice that it's gone um so there's different ways to make sure that your beauty is intact this summer and 
winter. This is a multi-seasonal purpose. Mm -hmm. I didn't shout out my um, hair oil, but Ooh. for my customers that know the vibes, they love this. This works like a magic. It is a one of one. Um, it has an ingredient that no hair oil on the market has. And I kid you not, there's herbs in here. Ooh. Right? Okay. You guys, this is a very person, so that. you can see it. We can see it. I see yeah. that. Right? So this is a one of one. There is no other hair oil on the market like this. Um, crazy reviews, crazy results. We're talking about you want a fuller beard. There's some areas of your beard that needs to be tapped in. Your hair, your edges, whichever. This will restore your hair growth. It's a one of one, and it actually does work like magic. Mm, okay, y'all heard that. Y'all heard that. Definitely <laughs> need to tap into person, that. Yeah. Yes, come see me in person, yes, man. Uh, I'm there. I'll put you on. Okay. okay, I love that. Well, thank you so much for coming today, and I really appreciate you. Um, we look so forward to you know seeing you again. Uh, yes, thank yeah. you for having me. Yeah, thank you. Fun. All right, everybody. Yo, thanks for, thanks watching. for watching. Bye. Anyway, Yay. I will help you. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna um have you sign our Hall of Fame sweater.